Welcome to the Canon Image ProGraph TX Series Large Format Printer Unboxing Video. Please refer to the instruction manual found in the printer box or online for the full installation details and instructional diagrams. To illustrate a typical printer unboxing, we are going to unbox a 36-inch TX3200. First, remove the cardboard lid as shown. Next, remove the legs for the stand along with the cross support. Remove the ink tanks, basket, cables, hardware, print head, instruction booklets, and roll adapters. Place those items to the side as you will need them later in the install. Once everything has been removed, you can start removing the protective packaging from around the printer and the packaging supports that the printer sits on. Next, unwrap the plastic that is around the machine. Now it is time to assemble the stand. Find the provided M8 hex screws and Allen wrench. With a clear working space, identify the right and left leg. With two people, stand each leg up and align the triangle on the legs to the triangle on the stand stay so that they overlap. Now, hook the tabs of the stand stay onto the stand legs. Once in place, use the provided M8 hex screws to secure the stand stay to the legs. There are a total of four M8 hex screws, two for each side. Once everything is clear, place the stand in front of the printer. Make sure that the front of the stand and the front of the printer sides match. For a TX3200, this step will require a minimum of four people. The amount of manpower needed is dependent on the printer size. Refer to the printer's instructions for exact information. Before moving the printer, make sure there is a clear and short path from the printer to the stand and that all four wheels on the stand are in the locked position before proceeding to the next step. All four people should place their two hands under the printer and feel for the handles. Once everyone has their hands in the handles and are ready, as a team they should lift the printer and carry it over to the stand. Once over the stand, carefully lower the printer onto the stand. If done correctly, you will feel the printer fit into place. There are six screw holes, three on each side. The screws go through the printer to the printer stand supporting plate. Use the provided M4 hex screws and M4 Allen wrench to secure the printer to the stand. With the remaining M4 screw, you can attach the accessory basket to the bottom of the base. Locate the pre-drilled hole on the bottom left side of the front foot of the stand and using the M4 screw and M4 Allen wrench, attach the accessory basket to the printer stand. Once the printer is secured to the stand, you can now begin to remove the packaging from the printer. Start by removing all of the orange tape and foam protection from the ink tank covers. Remove the orange tape from the printer front cover as well as the front and sides of the machine. Do not remove the red tag and ribbon that is attached to the front of the printer and cables inside that will come later. Once everything has been removed from the top, front, and sides, lift the front cover and remove the orange tape and protective foam blocks. Locate the red tag on the front of the machine, remove the red tag, and follow the ribbon. Pull out this key and store for future use as this gives you the ability to lock the printhead in place in the event that you ever need to move the printer. Now remove the orange tape and plastic clips from around the print head carriage. Find the power cable and the power port on the back of the machine. Insert the power cable into the machine and the pronged end into a protected outlet. These are your USB and Ethernet ports for connecting to the printer. And these are your ports for the optional multifunction roll unit and USB thumb drive. You can refer to your owner's manual for more information about these ports and how to connect. Confirm that all of the packaging has been removed and close the top cover. Now turn on the Image ProGraph TX series following the prompts on the touchscreen operation panel. Select your language. Select your time zone. Select agree or do not agree regarding the usage information question. Once complete, press OK to start setup. It is now time to install the print head. Find the print head and open the packaging. 
Once out of the packaging, remove the two orange protective covers. Once the orange protective covers have been removed, be careful not to touch or bang the printhead. Now, lift the top cover. Follow the order on the handles to install the printhead and carefully install the printhead into the carriage. Once inserted, lower the top lever first, followed by the front lever. Once everything has locked, you can now lower the top cover. When prompted by the control panel to install the ink, follow these steps. You can also follow the steps on the screen. Open the ink tank cover. Bring over each ink tank and prepare them for install by giving each ink tank a gentle shake as shown. Pull each ink tank lock lever toward the front of the machine. Insert the ink tank into the corresponding slot. Each ink tank is keyed to prevent the wrong tank from going into the wrong place, and each ink tank must be installed to move forward and complete the installation process. Gently lift up the lever by the handle and lower the ink tank into the housing and push down to lock the ink tank in. The solid red light will indicate that the tank is installed correctly and that each tank contains ink. Once each ink tank is installed and locked into place, close the ink tank covers. Now the printer will prepare the ink system. During this time, the sub-ink tank system and line tubes will be filled with ink. This can take up to 20 minutes. To load roll paper into the machine, users can follow these steps. First, press the Load button below the user interface screen. Select Load Roll Paper 1. Open the top cover. And then open the output guide. Once open, remove the roll holder, place the right side marked with an R down, and place a roll of media onto the spindle. If using a 3-inch core, you will need to install the blue adapters first. The edge of the media should go over the top of the roll. Next, place the left end cap onto the spindle and press down into the media core. Once inserted, lock into place. Now insert the roll and spindle into the printer. Close the output guide first, followed by the top cover, and allow the printer to feed the paper. When purchasing a TX series printer, you can purchase it with a stacker or a basket. For this video, we are going to demonstrate how to assemble the stacker. Start by removing the top cover from the box. On top of the packaging, you will find the manual and some mounting hardware. Remove these and you will need them shortly. Once the top layer of packaging has been removed, open up the bag wrapping the feet and bottom stay. Remove the middle layer of packaging. Remove the basket and all additional items from the box. To begin assembly, locate the M4 hex screws and M4 Allen wrench. Start by connecting the bottom stay to the left and right foot. Once in place, secure with two screws on each side as shown. Next, connect the top stay to the bottom stay and secure with four M4 hex screws, two on each side. Now you can open up the basket cloth. With the rod that was pre-installed facing the back of the machine and the white tags facing down, feed rod one through the tubular part where the outer most white tag is attached. Once complete, connect rod one to the arm on the feet and secure with two M4 hex screws as shown. Once rod 1 is secure, feed rod 2 through the tubular part where the inner white tag is attached. Once through, place rod 2 into the hooks onto the left and right arms as shown. Next, insert rod 3, which is the pre-attached rod into the grooves of the front paper stopper rod. Now remove the tape and packaging from top stay. Once the packaging is removed from the top stay, connect the paper guides to the top stay like shown.
Now that the stacker is assembled, you can roll up to the TX and begin to print. For full instructions, setup, and usage, refer to the instructions in box or visit the Canon USA website for each product page.